Nobody's out there, right? I'm going to say some weird personal shit. If you don't want to hear that, just don't watch my video. Just for the record, I really like Jordan Peterson. And I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why I like him. I can't even tell you, like, what he talks... Like, I've been listening to him, like, for the last, like, two hours. I don't even really know what he's talking about, but it sounds cool. It sounds like he has some, like, secrets to life and stuff like that. And he does this... He does... He. I've been watching him for, like, a long time. I always play him... Like, all the... Nobody's listening, right? Just for the record. I always listen to podcasts, and the podcasts I listen to, they're all by men whose names start with J. Joe Rogan, Jocko Willink... Jordan Peterson, Joel Osteen. There's something about a man with a J name that sounds like a good leader or something. Anyway, uh, that could be wrong. Anyway, he just he sounds really cool and he's really eloquent. He's just an interesting character and he's just kind of fun to listen to. And uh, his brain definitely works really good and he seems like passionate. And I can't, I honestly, I can't put my finger on what is interesting about him. And he says so much shit, I can't even really tell you what what he's about. He just sounds like he's, he's kind of like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to, you can't bend me. Like, I'm not going to uh, conform to your gender thing. He's kind of like antagonistic. There's something kind of macho about him. But there's something like he wants to, to be like a good guy. But there's also some sort of like, he, he's kind of playing games with people too. And so all of this is like, it's it's very appealing. And I'm not really sure why. And so... And I think he kind of knows why. Like, I think, I bet you he seems a little bit manipulative. No, I don't want to, nobody's watching this, right? But I've watched enough Jordan Peterson to know that, like, when he goes on to different podcasts, he is kind of tricky. Like, he, uh, he'll cater the way he talks to the specific podcast that he's on. Like, when he goes to Jocko Podcast, he talks about all this military stuff. And he says things that, like, are likely to sort of resonate with Jocko and his audience. And then when he goes to Joe Rogan, he says, like, you know the the man who uh, the man who is a hero. He's the one who tells the truth, and he's the one who gets the virgin and gets to claim her. And like all of that stuff is really kind of trying to butter up Joe. Ro it's catered to Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan tells the truth, and Joe Rogan wants to like get the chicks and stuff. Well, I just I know I've listened to some of these podcasts that like I know that that's one thing Jordan Peterson does is he likes to. Anyway, I don't know if anybody's watching this, but just for the record, uh, Jordan Peterson he's really a. Uh, you know, he's kind of like a cultural phenomenon over the last, like, five years. And I can't even really tell you, like, what... I don't even know what he's about. I don't know why people like him. I don't know why some people don't like him. I played... I talked about him to some girl that I was dating a long time ago. And she said, he sounds like an asshole. And so, he's, whatever he's doing, it seems to really appeal to, like, men who are more into, like, macho shit. But women don't seem to really like him. And so, uh... But he's not, like... The other weird thing about him is he's not, like, macho and buff, like, Jocko. He's not, like, a military dude or something. But he just... He talks about things that resonate with men. and Like, duty and, like, a man has a responsibility to do... That. And he, he makes it seem like you're going to get some sort of secret to life. But I've listened to so much of him. There, nobody's listening, right? One thing I should definitely know is that, like... Like, I'm, like, a quintessential sort of, like, loser person. Like, I have no girlfriend. I have no uh, friends. And I've listened to so much Jordan Peterson and so much Joe Rogan that that should tell you that, like, whatever they're saying, it, it's not, like, helping the, the people in the basement. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's just me. But, like, what's my point? Just it seems like most people that I know who listen to, like, a lot of Jordan Peterson or a lot of Joe Rogan – they're not doing the shit that Joe Rogan and Jocko are suggesting. Like, jo Jordan Peterson's always like, come on, get out of your parents' basement and go get, like, a wife and carry the burden of responsibility. She goes, and everybody I know who listens to Jordan Peterson. They don't have, like, kids. They're not. They're really, like, immature kind of people. So what's the point? I think a lot of people just listen to him thinking, like, it's fun to listen to him, but I don't think they're, like, learning some life secrets from him or something. I don't know. What's the point? Also, I don't really agree with a lot of what he says, but I honestly, I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. A lot of the time, I'm just like, sounds cool. It just, it's, I don't even, I was listening to this for an hour. I can't even tell you what he was talking about, but it sounds like, it sounds like cool stuff. Anyway.